JCU Pacific Bio and Council have done the heavy lifting. We've had eight months trial that have shown the positive effects of using the macroalgae to remove the nutrient from the water. And so it's a win-win situation. It's a lesser cost for establishment. It's a lesser cost to operate the facility. And also at the end of it, we also have a product that can be returned back to landowners to use on the land. This uh, system is a tertiary treatment for wastewater, uh, where the algae strips out nitrogen and phosphorus out of the water to uh, discharge levels that are really attractive, like at five milligrams nitrogen and two milligrams phosphorus per liter, which is a significant reduction. On top of treating wastewater, the algae uses the sun as an energy source and it also strips out carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So it's, it ticks a lot of boxes. The estimates are preliminary at this stage, but probably between 8.5 and $9 million is our, uh, our initial estimate of it. There is some earthworks that has to be done. We think that's a very reasonable investment compared to the cost of a traditional solution, which is probably in the vicinity of $40 million plus. The project is a key project that we are going to take to the federal election because it does tick all the boxes. It protects the Great Barrier Reef, it helps us grow our aquaculture and agriculture industry and with the help of JCU, Burdekin and Regan Aqua have done a fantastic job in upscaling the facility into a trial plant. Now it's time to commercialise the technology.